Okay guys, so I decided we're going to do something a little different today. We've been playing a lot of UFC Undisputed Forever. Um, and in the spirit of Canelo fighting this Cinco de Mayo weekend, I thought it would be fitting to jump back into probably one of the more popular boxing games of all time in Fight Night Champion and have a run through of the champion mode because honestly, it has been years since I've played through this story mode. So we'll start a new champion mode. We'll do... Uh, what's a somewhat... Uh, I'll do pro. It's been a while since I've played. So we'll just do a new one. Um, yeah. That's fine. He caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. You know, for a, um, for a game that's came out in, what, what, 2011? I think the graphics still hold up pretty good. But yeah, we just gotta survive this round now. Oh. <laughs> okay. To wake you right up. What did he hit me with? <laughs> His head. Here's a penitentiary, son. That rip ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass, yeah? And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. Knock the fucker on his ass. Go. I know you have a uh, total strike control, but you can also punch with the buttons, which is usually what I do. It's the story of Andre Bishop. You know, honestly, if um, they ever come out with another Fight Night Champion, or, I guess, a sequel to it. Oh, the low blow, I forgot. If they ever come out with a sequel to this game, which they might, I, I wouldn't mind having another story mode, kind of like this one. Push him. Push him, land it straight. Oh boy. Can weave. Oh, low blows. God, I love the bare knuckle mode. <laughs> okay, thumbnail. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. <laughs> We're really fucking impressed. <laughs> Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. 
I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! Yeah, let's kick his ass. So we start round number one of Andre Bishop against the sensational Ooh. Cuban Joel Savone. You know, I heard a lot of experts ringside. It's amateurs, so. experience for Bishop compared to Savone. Of course, Savone's a nine-time champion. You have to be sure to land more punches than your opponent the for the amateurs. Will Bishop start to get to him? Will he be rattled Ooh. against such a worthy opponent? Wow. Oh, yeah. It's hurt. Affected by that right hand. Andre Bishop hits like a heavyweight, even though he's a middleweight. Push him. Push him straight. Push him straight. <laughs> wow. He goes down. A barrage of punches just put him down. Get the young brothers out. It is waiting for Amateur champ for nine years. I drop him in the first round. None of you in the comment section is going to be giving me shit for the difficulty I'm playing, alright? I'm doing this for my enjoyment. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Oh, okay, he's coming back now. There it is. Yeah. Can I get him out of the first round? Is that possible? Nah, get off me. You don't go out there chasing after the guy. You use all your tools. You use your jab and you control him. You make him think about your power so he's not control around. Ooh, Bishop's got domination for days. Good way to protect the midsection. And definitely outlanding him this round. Get over here. Joel Savone's defense. Is it ever good? <laughs> Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Gus Carisi really pounds it into the head of Andre Bishop. That good skill, good technique will get you the results. It got them a knockdown in that last round. Here we go. got my attention. I'm impressed because I'm not surprised he has power that he scored a knockdown, but I love the way he did it with short punches. Oh, right. he's hurt again. If things stay this way, Andre Bishop is going to coast into victory. He has a considerable lead against Joel Savone. Savone's a there it big is. Shot. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? I love the replays. Stay down, Joel. Stay down. You don't want this. Stay down. How about that? What a big win for Andre Bishop. He is able to knock out the nine-time defending gold medalist, Joel Savone. You can already imagine what's going to be said about Andre Bishop as he launches his pro career ahead. Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games, baby. it's an honor. <laughs> gold medal, baby. Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Randy. Hey, big baby Bishop, I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being... Hey, Bishop brothers are in the house, big baby Bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here 
could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter in these games, period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. You know, boxing can be so corrupt these days. You know, we've seen so many questionable decisions, but uh, I'm sure that <clears throat> they gained inspiration from, um, you know, maybe past events, like these corrupt promoters and whatnot, to make the story mode. The story can be pretty predictable at some points, but, you know, it's still enjoyable. Just because you know something's gonna happen doesn't make it any less enjoyable. You know, you go into a horror movie, you can kind of predict when the jump scares are gonna be there. When you watch a superhero movie, you know in the end they're gonna beat the villain, even though at times it seems like they have no hope. And you're wondering, like, man, how are they gonna pull this off? Oh, kind of hurt. I don't actually know how long I'll make these episodes. If I remember correctly, I don't think the story mode of this game is very long. I think if you're really good, you can burn through it in just a couple of hours. Although there are definitely some fights that, uh, you know, definitely take a while to complete. I think there's one fighter specifically in the story mode. I think his name is Ricardo Alvarez. He's a boxer that wears camo shorts. And I don't know what his block stats are, but that man takes forever to finish. No matter how many times you hurt him. If you guys want me to make this into a series... Honestly, I might make this into a series anyway. Come on now. Faster. Faster. But if you want to see more episodes like this, just let me know down in the comments. Surprised I haven't knocked him down yet. Punch and move. Keep it up. And I'm with so many power shots too. Oh, no, stop hugging me. Get off. Hey, really surprised I haven't knocked him down, man. If I just push him straight, power streets. No, oh, man. I was trying to. All right, kid, let's see you one on one. Rio. Keep your hands up. I push him power straight. <laughs> I know it's kind of cheap to do it this way, but when they're just blocking you can't really get him to open up this is a really cheap way to like get damage off where's this heavyweight power andre come on buddy dude every straight i've hit him with has been a power street i don't know how he hasn't gotten knocked down Come on, man. Certainly, you can't take too much punishment, right? Jesus. These are solid straights, man. How are you not knocked down? 
can knock down the amateur champion of the world in the first round. I can't knock down my sparring partner. Jesus, man. There it is. Finally. All those headshots, and it was a shot to the body that did it. You okay? Beautiful, kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you, too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me. Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? Dad. You've been listening to this stupid old man. Dad. You don't know who you're fucking with. I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that Megan. We'll just continue on. See. Welcome, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore, ringside with Teddy Atlas. We have a big night of boxing ahead. Plus, so many are looking forward to our undercard. It is the pro debut for the much heralded Andre Bishop. The middleweight will be right, facing fellas. the crafty veteran Lucius Palmer. Touch him up and All let's go. from here, the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago, right now. Alright, so he's gonna circle around for like until like the last 30 seconds. The opening moments of Andre Bishop's There he is. <laughs> Alright, he dropped him like first 10 seconds. <laughs> Just make sure you can't run. Should have stayed down, Lucis. Should have stayed down. Right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. That's the thing, man. You can use this strategy for people that run too. Just push him against the rope. <laughs> it's so cheap. Good effective work with that straight right hand. I mean, hey, man, if he's trying to just run and block the whole time. Palmer's a smart fighter, and in doing so, the smart thing to do for him would be to utilize his jab. He's got a good one. Yeah, and he's confident with it. See, it's one thing having a good one. You know how many people out there are good at certain things, but they don't have the confidence, they don't know it? He knows that he's good with it. That's the key. Bishop's power has been shown off early on in his fights. Teddy okay, now he's starting to get a little more aggressive. Power have early in this fight. Well, I think I cut him, too, to be with one of these traits. If he catches the opponent, his opponent survives it. Gets oh, my God. It be a long night All these power shots he's taken. I'll just unload all these combos. Good block by Andre Bishop that time. He'd like to see more of that. Body. Body. Thing is, if he wants to trade with me. Once again, he's looking to steal the round. 
You can't steal the round. I knocked you down, buddy. Oh, just missed with that straight. So much anticipation for the pro debut of the young American, Andre Bishop, here tonight facing Lucius Palmer. Through one round, Teddy, has anything revealed itself? His hand speed, he's very fast in there. I think he has to settle down a little bit, though, as the rounds go on. I got to lie, though. I remember when I did watch you online, especially when in um, online championships where you had your creative fighter, so many players, regardless of the weight class, they would always set their character like the max height and max reach, and they would always be an outside fighter. You know, no one wanted to make a realistic character. At like a reasonable height and reach. This is what Andre Bishop talked to us about. And you know, they would just constantly back up and hold block and just try to pick you apart or just spam those jab straights, you know. It was very fun to deal with. And this fight kinda reminds me of that. Granted, Lucish is not like a 6'3 fighter fighting in the middleweight division with an 81 inch reach. Still. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Dang, Lucis. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. He actually be going to his body. Let's see. Ah, so infuriating when they, you drop them so early, but you can't drop them again. Oh my god, look at his eye. Dude, that eye is swollen shut, man. I want to see that head move more. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. A little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. Palmer's knowledge Get over here, Palmer. is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Oh, you're lucky. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Yeah, man. That was cheap, but I'll just keep doing this if that's the only way to land punches on you. If you don't want to open up, man, use the tools at my disposal. God, look at that eye. Oh my god. I think it's swollen shut. Stay down, man. Stay down. How does it get better than that to start your pro debut? Andre Bishop knocks out Lucius Palmer. Back here in the Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer, in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop, clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. Interactive training. I don't believe in building a record fight in Nova. There you go. You don't learn anything against guys mm -hmm. like that except how to make mistakes. Ah, uh, come on. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateur. You got to do something great. To be something Dude. great. And I'm going to 
That's kind of a problem with total punch control. Sometimes it doesn't actually do the thing that you want it to. No. Okay, that's not me. The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event. A much anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. Can Andre Bishop we keep all that momentum? Room. Good evening, Let's everybody. Good, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy up. Atlas. We're here to answer that question for you at the State here we go. Theater in New Orleans, Louisiana. Coming off his pro debut win against Lucius Palmer. Now you know one thing I do like about this story mode? It does a good job of... Um, Kind of teaching you all, all the aspects of boxing and different styles you fight. I mean, you already saw in the very first pro fight, we had um, Lucius Palmer, who kind of wanted to shell up, be defensive for the most part, and then just try to steal rounds. Later on in this story mode, you'll have people that would like, like to clinch up a lot. You'll have people that like to work your body. Uh, people that have like a special punch. If you made a checklist of advantages and disadvantage, obviously you'd want the advantage of hand speed. But you've trained many a guy who's been on the other side. Dolph will teach you kind of like what have you told them? different aspects. Like if you get cut, you have to protect yourself so you don't lose. By Doctor Savage. a little bit. Step out of range. Don't allow the kind of landscape to kind of track that will suit speed. Right hand downstairs. Big oh, yeah. there right it is. Clean. Mike Walker stunned, and he cannot block this onslaught. Big, big there it is. That's the first run. knockdown. That's a heck of a stunner right there. Down he goes. Got that right hook to the body, right behind his elbow. Couldn't block it. Go. to get up to his feet after that knockdown but Teddy it's what's ahead that's the problem yeah we're getting a peek right now into his heart into his soul no, we, nope. what an impact that left hand just made by I want to see if I can get him out in the first round he's probably gonna survive though Good block by Walker. <laughs> Let's give a very That's the nice thing about these early opponents. You don't really have to be too defensively minded. You can kind of just walk him down and just unload all these punches. You want to see him go through him in an effective, efficient way where he looks like a future champion. Oh. The midst of the straight right. Walker's doing exactly what he's always done stylistically, Teddy. Now, he was knocked down earlier, so what he always does got him in this position. Yeah, he understands his identity. He understands that, you know, he's going to win or lose the man that he is, the fighter that he is. He just has to make sure that he makes a few adaptations. <laughs> Bishop's My head movement is such trash. So erratic. There's no rhythm to it. Andre Bishop. Walker's lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent oh, scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on, and he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. Some of these punches like yes, miss. Halfway through this round, right to the head with that right. Walker's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his. Come on, Walker. Just go down now. Defense. You see, he sits and waits and then strikes with that counter punch by Andre Bishop. Come 
Bishop's right hand scores well. Ah, come on, dude. Come on. There it is. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, Stay down, Walker. Don't get up. So now the question becomes after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits. Have good yeah, I have to be better. I don't think I can. Right I'll probably survive. Right now. Ah. And we come to the end of I don't want him to go the distance, man. But he's doing just enough to survive. That or I'm not really picking my shots well enough. How much more punishment can their man take? They start a fresh round coming off yet another round which their man was down in. Well, Joe, there's been tremendous comebacks in the sport before. You just never know about how deep the reserve is in one man's body or mind. Snap that jab out. Damn, Palmer. Go down. Or, not Palmer. Walker. There it is. Alright, that's gotta be it. brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that jam going. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to leave it there for this first episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little trip down nostalgia lane. Uh, so leave a like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Help me get to 400 subscribers. We're almost there. And I'll see y'all in the next one.